I got to get my area straight. Me and the guy who lives in here, too. We're going to straighten up a little bit. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. You got a sweet deal here, right? You don't want to fuck it up, huh? Let me ask you something, man. How the fuck you break this whole joint, huh? All to yourself. I'm fucking jammed up over in P Company like we fucking fleas in a bum's ass. Hey, man, man, shit. we ain't got this whole place. You think you're talking to a fool or something, man? I can see who's here and who ain't here, man. You got this whole fucking joint to make you home, man. You and a fucking couple of bunch of dickhead white boys and shit, man. I'm fucking jammed up in P Company with the rest of the No, we're here, we're here because all three of us are spec four. What? You spec four? What the fuck is spec four, huh? T5, uh. NCO, PFC. Nigga, you spec shit! Take this fucking army, man. They gonna be kicking and stomping everybody's motherfucking ass in this place, man. Maybe one week for getting shipped out to get their same ass blown away, man. And what they doing? They doing what they do. Like you. I'm getting hat jacked, you know. And I'm making one out of here where it is sweet and the people's is living. Because I can't cut this shit here, you understand? I can't cut it. That's your area mate, man? Yeah, that's one of them. Uh, hey, Rich. Yo, man, my name's Carlisle. You Richie? Yes? He just came over from Pete Company. Yo, uh, what happened to that, you know, that cute little Martin, you know? Cut himself? Martin's gone now. <clears throat> cute too, you know, Rich. I uh, say, my man, you forgot your bottle. So, uh, take care, man. You ain't gonna make it with me? No, you go on. I'll catch you later. Oh, man, that's a shame. <laughs> make me want to cry in my heart, you know. You gonna get your head smoking and stop on back. All right, man. <laughs> Guess I got to be one man one more time. Huh? Easy, boss. Yeah, you going on, man. Go on, on, nigga. You gonna be hearing from me, too. You know? Yeah, I can and do believe that. Who's that? Shit, man's new, Rich. I don't know his name more than that Carlisle. He's new. He just got out of basic. He new. <laughs> he looks pretty used to me. But it doesn't. Hey, Billy, how's your old man doing? Wasn't anybody home. Oh, man, that's too bad. Hey, Billy, are we going to the movies tonight or not? I ain't going nowhere. What are you doing? What is this? <laughs> baby powder. <laughs> you got enough jazz in there for an entire beauty parlor. <laughs> I get rashes, okay? So what? You got powder for rashes that ain't baby powder. Oh, yeah, it doesn't work as well. I've tried it. Have you tried it? Oh, we should get yourself straight. What do you want me to do? Get inside your locker and shut the door. Don't holler for help. Nobody will know you're in there. But I'm so pretty. Tell that man you mean what you're saying, Rich. Mean what? Do you think you're pretty? Of course I do. I am. Don't you think I'm pretty, Roger? Yeah, I told you, you full of shit. And you're cute. Carlisle told you you were cute, too. Like I told you, Roger. What'd you tell Roger? That you go down. That you go up and down like a yo-yo and you go blowing all the trees like the wind. What the hell made you tell Roger I've been down? It's in your eyes. I've seen it. What? You. What is it, Billy, you think you're trying to say? You with all your wit and intelligence. Your humanity. I said it, Rich. I said what I was trying to say. Did you? I think I did. Do you? Loud and clear. They got to put me in with the weirdos. Now, why is that? Why do you have me hate me, do this shit to me? 
Roger. Sometimes I think you're so naive. I mean, it really isn't such a bad thing, after all. Is it Billy? How would I know? Well, go fuck yourself! Can I think of you as I do? God damn it! 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 Now I'm in a level with you, Rich. You're gonna hear what I'm saying and not what you think I'm saying? Don't get cute. Don't turn away cute. I want to say something straight out to you, and I want you to hear it. And this is level, Rich. This is straight talk. No BS, no tricks. What you do on the side, that's your business, and I don't care about it. But if you don't cut this cute shit with me, I'm going to turn you off. You understand? You ain't going to get a good morning out of me. Because it's getting bad around here, Rich. I mean, I know how you think, how you keep looking out at me and seeing yourself. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, Rich, because that's all that's happening. It's all there is to it when you look out at me and think there's some kind of approval or whatever you see in my eyes. You're just seeing yourself. How else do you want me to be? That ain't any part of it, Rich. I don't come from the same kind of world as you do. Damn, Richie, you think Roger and I came off the same street? Bullshit. All right, okay. I've just done what I wanted to all my life. If I wanted to do something, I just did it, really. I've never had to work or anything like that. I've always had nice clothing, money for cab fare, money for whatever I wanted, really. I'm just not like you are. But you ain't really done that stuff. What? And that fag stuff. How long do you think we got? For what? They ship us out, man. What? To the war? To Disneyland, baby? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. That's up to them IBMs, man. Machines running this shit. Maybe next week. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe never. You know, I was reading. They're planning to build it up to over 500,000 men over there, Americans, and that they're going to leave it that way until we can win it. Be a great place to come back from. I keep thinking about that, you know, to have gone there, to have been there and seen it and lived. I don't know what I think about this war. I tell you, I've been doing a lot of reading, and I think it's right we go. I mean. Just like when North Korea invaded South Korea, or when Hitler invaded Poland and all the other countries. He just kept testing everybody, and when nobody stood up against him and, and tried to stop him, he got so committed that he couldn't back out. And that's what I figure this Ho Chi Minh is doing, and all the other communists. We let them know somebody's going to stand up against them. They'll back out just like Hitler would have. Yeah, well, you know, there's people saying that LBJ is a Hitler, not all Ho Chi Minh at all. Well, I don't know anything about all that. But what I do know is I'm certain I don't want to go there, no matter what is going on. I mean, those Viet Cong, they don't just shoot you and blow you up, you know. They got these other horrible things they do, like these caves that they hide in. And like, you know, you go inside, and you follow them inside, and they have these snakes that they've tied from their tails to the ceiling. And you go in after them. It's dark, and the snake is furious from having been tied by its tail. And you crawl right into the snake. <laughs> they do not. It's awful, Richie. Probably the most disgusting thing I ever heard of. I, mean, I don't want to go any place where that kind of shit is going on. I mean, old LBJ is Hitler. <laughs> Suddenly I see it all very clearly. I mean, any person who would hang a snake by its tail in the hope that some other person might crawl into it and get bitten to death. That first person is somebody who ought to be shot. And I hope the 500,000 other soldiers that get shipped over there kill them all. All them dudes get them driven back into Germany where they belong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Richie, you want a shot of some bean, man? Oh, yeah. yeah I want a shot of some bean, man. Why don't you ask me if I want a shot? All right, it's in my locker. 
Oh, man, not that locker, the liquor locker. <laughs> 